Well, today I'm with Bubba. Bubba, I talked to you for the first time last year. I can't remember exactly when, but you were with the Gracie. How have you been since then? It's been like over a year, I want to say. I've been all right, man. You know, I've seen a little more, seen a little more than than last time, but uh, it's been pretty cool and chill out here. I mean, I don't, I don't see me doing any any worse. I don't see me getting any worse. So, do you think you've gotten better? You've stayed the same? Yeah, definitely not. Definitely gotten better. Uh, got, you know, got more ways, better ways actually of making money. So, yeah, I guess I'm doing better. So, is that making money? Is that be like a job or like a hustle? More like a hustle. Okay. More like a hustle. Okay. Uh, but they're not as dangerous, you know, as as it was last time. So. Okay. And are you staying safe out here? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I got friends and stuff like that, people who got my back and stuff, so. And in that year, have you gone to treatment? Uh, any treatment centers for you at all? Uh, kind of. I mean, I I was locked up for a little bit. I kind of did like four months. I came out, of all like, I was pretty yoked. I mean, came out looking good. So four months, you were clean, right? Uh, yeah. How long after those four months of you being locked up did you relapse? Oh shit, dude! As soon as I got out, I'll keep it. I'll keep it hundred. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I got out, man, uh, I hit the streets and started smoking. Again, so I mean, what did something trigger you, or all along those four months, that's what you were thinking about? That's what you're craving? Well, I mean. Like I said, I was kind of, I was kind of in the same. It's been the same mood the entire time. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I just, I just started feeling better actually. You know about you know everything I've lost lately. Um, it's just pretty much was the same mood. You know, it just I came out. You know, I had nowhere to go or anything. So I mean, no family support. No. Well, I mean, I got family support and stuff. I just. It's kind of like I'm, you know, I was too grown. I wasn't trying to stay at home and stuff, and I you know, just, you know, make it, you know, make, make my problem their problem and stuff. So I mean, I hear that so often, Bubba, where people say, "I do have family support, and my family wants to help me, but I don't want to bring my problems to the house. Yeah, I exactly. don't want to burden them. I don't want them to worry about me." Is that partially? Does that hold true for you? That yeah, really, yeah, definitely. I can't, you know, I can't, I can't drag them through this, bro. What are your plans now? What are you, what are you trying to do for your future? My plans, actually, actually uh, scrape up some money, enough money to where I can get myself up a little bit, get my ID, and actually get a steady job going. What type of job would you want? Well, I do construction, you know, I used to work uh, for Creative Renovations, and I pretty much do remodeling and stuff. I'm pretty much a professional really good oh yeah dude hands on yeah definitely bro detail work and everything wow yeah to the t bro for so you have a really good skill set that you can fall back on whenever you're definitely you're ready yeah i got something yeah i can rely on those skills i can't remember if uh, last time i asked you do you have children i do actually i have three i haven't checked in on them or anything um i'm actually a little worried and stuff i tried searching for them online but uh Actually, I went, I did go to her, one of her family members' house and stuff, and I went over there several times asking for them, and unfortunately, they're not, they're no, they're no longer connected anymore, you know, it was, a, it was a cousin of hers, and she said she hasn't seen her since, so I'm actually pretty worried about that. How old are your children? Should be about five, four, three. Or six five four already. They're all back to back, so just a year apart. It's uh, it's really sad. I think when addiction not only affects the person that's addicted, but also the mom, the dad, the siblings, the children. Yeah, it's actually a little more than you know than just addiction and stuff. It's 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 really not the addiction part that's holding me back. As you can see, I'm still I'm still intact and stuff. You know, I haven't fallen apart completely or anything. I mean, I still get up every day and 
It's uh, I, re- I really not. I rather not throw my problems out there like that. But I mean, I can see it getting better though. I can see people respecting me more and stuff. You know, it's, I try to stay out of their way and they stay out of mine. And as long as that's in play, I guess everything's gonna go all right. It's just the being on the streets, it's always there. Those pills are always there. So it's hard to get away from them when you're you're in the mix, right? Yes, definitely. That's true. They, they are kind of everywhere, but I mean, hey, everything, everything has to start, you know? And right now it's kind of the start of that, so. The biggest difference, Bubba, that I've seen last year to now is the price. Yeah, hey, you know they actually got cheaper though. So I mean, that's, so that's, people, so people have actually got they got a better they got a better chance now. You know, and if they're expensive, you know you kind of lose everything. You give everything out from, and the cheaper they are and stuff like that, the easier they are to get. Then I mean, kind of fixes the problem. Think so? Oh yeah. I think because they're cheaper, it makes the problem worse because it's more attainable by younger people. People can, don't have money. It can be. You know what I'm saying? It really can be. But I mean, and the reason they're cheaper is because there's so many. The quantity is just there's just so many of them out here. Okay, Bubba, it was really nice seeing you. I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad you're still standing. Uh, continue to fight. Continue to get better for the sake of yourself, your family, your children. Definitely, my man. God I appreciate bo- you, man. Thank you for coming out here and checking up on me, bro. Uh, whenever you want, man. You want to stop by, go ahead. I, I recommend it, you know what I'm saying? You're helping me out. Absolutely. So, again, take care of yourself. God bless you. We'll talk soon, okay? Definitely.